Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, as you can see, I have two exciting, exciting new kits from Tamiya. I want to thank our friends over at Tamiya USA for getting us out these early copies of it right here. And uh, first of all, we have the F14D Tomcat. Uh, Tamiya released last year the F14A, and this is a, a similar kit and shares about 75% of the molds. And there's the new stuff inside here to convert it to a D, which we'll talk about in a little bit there. And plus, we also have their World War I British Mark IV mail tank. And excited about this one because this is the RC version of it. It has their new 2.4 gigahertz RC unit inside the actual kit. Now they've done this kit, this is going to be the third incarnation of it, and the first one came out just two years ago, so it's all brand new tooling inside. Then they came out with the, the re, they did the regular model kit, then they did one with just a simple motor that you would turn on and it would drive across stuff, and now they're putting in all of the RC stuff so you can actually control it. And excited about this because I actually never got a chance to build this. It was coming out right at the beginning of YouTube for me, and just for whatever reason, uh, never thought about building it. Always wanted to get to it, but with all the other new and exciting kits coming out, it always kind of got pushed further down the list. So now it's a perfect time to uh, start building it up. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to, both of these kits are going to get built. We're going to just do a quick preview of inside the kits, what comes inside, talk about them a little bit, and then I will get started on building them. So, let's get started on it. Okay, the first kit we're going to take a little closer look at is the uh, the new Grumman F14D Tomcat. Now, I've torn the kit apart to give you guys uh, an idea, and actually I was a little surprised. There is a lot more parts from the new version or, or mold or sprues that have been touched up that have a 2018 uh, date on it as opposed to the, the 2016, which is when the original kit came out. This portion right here represents what is actually just marked 2016 so it's off the original A kit. All of these pieces in through here are either partially the 2016 with a little bit of 2018 or completely brand new sprue. So as you can see there's a lot of new stuff inside here. What I thought I would do right now is just show you the the parts and kind of talk about some of the differences between this and the A model. And the fuselage here, the bottom part of the fuselage at least, is uh, the same for both kits. So this is the uh, the A, right, or parts right out of the A kit, just as you would expect. And then we have part of the cockpit. Now the cockpit does have some changes in it between the, uh, the F14A and the D, although these parts right here are all still the 2016 pieces. The uh, main portion of armaments is the same they give you on this but there are a new sprue of uh, arms that will also go on there as well and you can see the missiles that come with some sidewinders phoenix and then a little bit more of the uh, the cockpit as well as some of the landing gear pieces these are all the same too and then the main parts the main you know the main part of the fuselage upper portion front of the front as well as the wings which this it's just absolutely amazing the way this goes together, the way you can sweep the wings in and out. The mechanism works beautifully on that. So all of these are still right out of the, uh, the A. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the, uh, the parts that are from the F14D version, and we'll explain some of the differences on it. To start off, uh, here are the clear parts, and I've left them inside the bag here, and that's strictly just to keep them protected until we're actually ready to do the build. Uh, this piece, this piece, and this piece are all right off of the A variant. They've opened up a new gate, and these are some of the clear parts that will change it to the D. Now, the cockpit on the F-14D is a little bit different than the A. There were some stuff for the pilot to have night vision, as well as one of the consoles for the, uh, the rear, rear guy. So that's going to make up some of these portions in here. Also, Tamiya is great. They give you this extra piece of sprue that goes across and protects the top of the canopy. So a little extra protection while it's in a bag being transported that you don't get it all uh, all uh, scratched up. 
Now to start off right here, this sprue is half, half uh, 2016, half 2018. This portion right here, so you're gonna get a new seat and new pilot. And actually you're gonna get two because there's two of these sprues inside here. This, from what I understand, is gonna just be the, uh, the older parts right out of the, uh, the, the A model. So you'll get uh, new seat, new pilot like I was saying, and actually two new pilots, and then these are right out of the A. The other variation that is going to be on this kit compared to the other one is the uh, the engines. The engines are different on the D. The engines and exhaust are different on the D compared to the A. Plus, there is a little bit different of an armament pack package on this. So, and also some new wheels. So, this sprue right here, and you get two of these. There is going to be two full brand new. These are 100% new, strictly for the D. And then we're going to jump over to this uh, this one right here. Some more. All of this is uh, 2018 spruce. And here's those pods we were talking about earlier. And finally, we have this one other big piece here. And this is all marked, I believe, yeah, all 2018, this is marked. So this is also all brand new stuff, too. Now, at the very end, when I'm done talking right here, we'll, we'll show you all the sprues laid out with, with the normal, like we do with the music, that if you want to stop the camera, take a click, closer look at them where they're not bouncing all over the place. One of the best parts about this kit are the decals that are inside here. And first of all, and I'll, like I said, you'll get a closer look at all these. So lots of decals, <laughs> lots and lots of decals. And here is the best part three different markings some just absolute gorgeous gorgeous decals turn them up right the right way uh, a little bit brighter i think than the uh than the other variant was so and also to me has included some mass as well as some metallic pieces and i have to admit i'm not quite sure what those are for this is probably for the instrument something inside the cockpit but those are included inside the kit as well now this kit is due out in late July, early August, and has a retail of about $129, very similar to the, uh, the A. It's a little bit more money, but as you can see, there's a lot more, uh, lot more plastic new pieces inside there. Okay, so now we're going to take a, just a quick, quick look at the uh, World War I British Tank Mark IV male from Tamiya in 35th scale. And like I was telling you earlier, this is the same kit that came out, the motorized version, but now with RC component parts inside. So uh, actually, I'm definitely going to be building this, and I'm actually kind of excited about this. I've always wanted to play around with one of the, the smaller 35th scale RC, so we have one at our disposal now. To start off with, this is their RC pack. So this has the unit inside as well as all the radio control stuff. So we don't tear this apart. Uh, you'll see it much more in depth when we're putting it together inside the, uh, the build video. But just a couple of things I'll point out to you and show you. It has dual motor drive in it. And you can see the gearing is already built up. Once again, don't want to open any of these things. I don't want to lose any of the, uh, the pinion gears or any of that other stuff. So we're just going to leave it inside the bag. And there's also, there's a blue and a clear one. I wonder if that's for a left and right. And that way we'll be able to steer this. And as typical, you're gonna get the individual tracks, which these tracks are great. They snap together and are completely workable. And then we've got all the metal gears and some of the bushings. 
well as a screwdriver, grease, all the things you'd expect inside an RC kit as well as a battery box. And this is actually going to use uh, AAA, so I guess that's true because double A's would be kind of big inside that kit. And then a few more gears, screws. Once again, we're going to leave all this in the, bo the bag so we don't mess it up. And quickly, we'll just look at some of the parts. This is your, your upper part of the hull. The, the, some of the sides. And this is actually a, a fairly large vehicle. It's, it's probably about 10 inches long once it gets built up. You've got this portion here, the sides of the vehicle, and it's got all the little pegs already inside. So you can see there is going to be a load of wheels. Every one of those holds the wheels for the bottom part of this kit. And some more parts of the, uh, the tank here. And finally, the wheel sprues. And I was telling you, there is a lot. And just cutting and sanding those off is going to probably, probably take a, a decent amount of time in itself. So I won't show you all the individual parts, like I said, on this one, because we're going to actually start building this up right away. And you expect a video on this very, very soon. So I want to thank you guys, as always, for watching. And please stay tuned, because we have many more videos coming.